Okay. Yeah, man. I'm gonna head out. I'll uh, I'll talk to you later. See ya. Oh God, no. Oh, it's gonna be like 20 seconds before I can even leave the party, and I already said goodbye. <laughs> That is an example of what we will be talking about today. It is when you have already said goodbye and you have not yet left. It's that state of limbo that I'm going to be calling bimbo because it's the combination of bi and limbo and it also kind of combines sounds like bimbo, which you're probably trying to say bye to those and sometimes you linger and it gets all awkward. So there's also that too. But by and limbo are the important factors in this word. And so it's going to be a pure creation for today. I really just wanted to describe those intermission periods where you've already said goodbye and you either have to say goodbye again because you were there long enough or you straight up had to return or you're just like sitting there not able to exactly leave yet but you really want to. This can happen a lot too if you're like leaving a house you say goodbye you're like, oh shit, I didn't put my shoes on. You have to go through that, and both of you are kind of like, hmm, say bye again, say, not say bye again. And uh, yeah, that's where things get awkward and complicated and just unpleasant. And I actually made a video somewhat about this a while back, a couple months ago. It was just a short video that I put on TikTok. I think it's also on the YouTube though. And it's just avoiding trying to say a second goodbye. And I'll leave a link to that in the video because that's a great one too. But yeah, I hate this scenario. It's always so strange. I really don't want to say a second goodbye. So that's what you can call those little awkward stages where you've already said goodbye, but you haven't really left yet. So bimbo can be the word to describe those scenarios. Let's move on to our song and video of the day. Song of the day is zombified by falling in reverse. I was blown away by this song. It's a more modern alternative metal. It's an amazing song by this band. They have quite a few things that I like. They're very angsty, somewhat cringy at times, but also oozing with talent. And this song was super creative. They go a lot of different interesting directions here. The delivery style of the vocals is fascinating, often very abrupt and variable. And the music video is also spectacular. So I was just in awe of both the song and the video. I was totally down with absolutely all of it. And it really was impressive to me. Definitely would check out Zombified if that music sounds even a little bit interesting to you. Then the video of the day is a Stranger Things themed video. It is David Harbour who plays Hopper in Stranger Things, acting as if he was wanting the role of Eleven and kind of going through some funny stuff trying to say that he deserved that role. This is only really kind of referencing the first season of Stranger Things, and even then it doesn't really spoil basically any of that. So you probably still want the context of Stranger Things to really watch this video, but you would only really need the first season because it is pretty old. I think it's five years old, but just hilarious if you understand the context of the show. And I saw it for the first time yesterday, and it was another thing that just blew me away. I'm like, how have I not seen this when it's been out this long? But really a great video too. And that will do it for The Daily Do. Peace out. And a, and a second pisu, just to give you a second awkward by mo in there. Um, bye again.